isn't a wake up moment for us. I mean, we, re we realized five or six years ago the problems with the stadium. Right now at 11, Jags team president Mark Lamping not surprised by the findings of a Players Association survey that reveals rats were found in the locker room. He hopes the organization's bold vision for the future can put the pest and other issues to rest. The NFL Players Association sent out a survey to all 32 teams, asking them to grade their team's facilities and family accommodations, among other things. And the Jags ranked near the bottom of the league. Right. Thank you for staying up with us tonight at 11. I'm Anthony Austin. And I'm Jessica Clark. The chief complaints, rat scene in the locker room, and players' wives had to nurse their babies on bathroom floors. All your size, Andrew Badillo is joining us live outside TIAA Bankfield. And Andrew, I know you spoke with team president Mark Lamping today. What did he have to say about all of this? Yeah, Anthony, Mark Lamping was forward thinking when it came to talking about solutions for the ongoing facility issues the Jaguars have been ha having. He said that the team's new sports performance center can be a big step in the right direction. I wasn't surprised at all by the score. In fact, we've known about it for quite some time that we have a lot of work to do on this facility. The NFL Players Association report card gave the Jaguars a good grade for its strength and training staff as well as team travel but it didn't fare well on the facility side. Players citing a rat infestation and said players' wives had to nurse their babies in public bathrooms. The overall grade landed the Jaguars near the bottom of the league. And if you look at the teams that scored the highest, they all had the same thing in common. They're in new stadiums and new training facilities. Jaguars team president Mark Lamping hopes the Miller Electric Center, the team's new sports performance center scheduled to open before training camp, can jumpstart improvements to the team's facilities. One, provide our players with the resources so that they can, you know, achieve to their highest potential. But number two, it sets the stage for taking the stadium, which is substandard by NFL uh, measures, and be able to get it to the position that it needs to be to support a NFL franchise here in Northeast Florida for generations to come. The Jaguars are also in the early stages of redesigning their stadium, with shaded seats a top priority. Whether it's getting rid of rats or giving relief to their fans, Lamping says future improvements will be done to help further grow downtown Jacksonville. Are we getting closer to helping downtown Jacksonville realize its full potential? Um, there's no one party that can do that. But I, I don't think I've ever been more confident that there are more and more people that are focused on downtown and that are continuing to invest, just like Shad Khan. So I asked Mark Lamping how the team uh, will go forward in sort of addressing the rat problem. He said that it's the city's responsibility to deal with the maintenance at TIA Bank Field, but he did say that the Jaguars as well as the city have been talking about solutions in fixing that problem. The city hasn't responded to my questions on the solution for the rats. And speaking about a partnership between the city and the Jaguars, Lamping talked about that partnership and how important it is when you are trying to do revamps or redesigns of a stadium. Now in years past for prior stadium renovations or redesigns, the city and the Jaguars have split that down the middle about 50-50 when it comes to the cost of the projects. But for the upcoming stadium redesign, we don't know what percentage split that will be and how much money it will cost. Live outside TIA Bank Field, Andrew Badillo, First Coast News on your side. All right.